Can you shoot a professional product commercial with only single light? With this video, I wanted to do exactly that and challenge myself to shoot this beer commercial with only one light. Birra Superiore, Peroni Nastro Azzurro, Italy. How's it going y'all and awesome to see you tuned back in. So I've been wanting to do this how to shoot a commercial with only one light for a while now. I've seen some videos about one light tutorials on YouTube but those have been just about product photography. So I figured I haven't seen any of those how to light a film by only using single light. I thought I'll just make one myself. What I'm gonna do is I'll be lighting all my product shots from multiple angles over multiple takes and then later combine them together in the edit. The main shots I wanna focus on are the opening and ending product shots. My plan was also to make the light part of the story where it would reveal my film as we move forward. But more about this when we get to the edit. Now let's jump right into the shoot behind the scenes and maybe you'll also get inspired by some of the tricks I use while making this video. I started my shoot with the beer pouring shots. These shots were also the easiest shots to pull off with a simple overhead light with a soft box. By the way, the light that I'm using in the shoot is Aperture 120D Mark II. With my camera on sticks, I managed to shoot everything solo. Then just play back my shots and see if I needed to go for more takes. Next up, the opening shot. With this, I wanted to reveal the product with a nice flare that would then continue and take us to the next following shot in the film. Light revealing the product, light flare on lens, sealing the product from behind the desk, and so on. Just approach this like a crazy painter would. My goal was also to make it look like the product was floating in an ocean of beer. For the first wider shot, I added bubbles that I took with the following shot where I actually shot the product underwater. The first sequence was a combination of three different shots that I blended together in the edit. I feel like the best way was just to play around with the opacity of the clips and blend modes and masking of the product to make it look like it was filmed all in one shot. With all this layer combination mayhem going on, I thought for the ending shot it would be cool to make it so that the light is also part of the story, revealing the product in the end. The last hero shot would start from the golden beer glass, first fading to silhouette, cut to a white shot with the product next to the glass, fade back from silhouette. Also, since my camera was on sticks, this reveal brought me a lot needed movement to the film. I then finished my last ending shot by covering the different light angles. The last shot was definitely the hardest shot to edit and put together. The editing technique was the same as it was with the first one, but now instead of blending three shots together, I had six. Six shots to blend together. Mask different parts on each clip and then combine all of it to a one single shot. And again, for the millionth time, because I was shooting everything solo, my camera was on sticks, so I added some digital zooms and rotations throughout the edit to give it more movement. Music wise, Peroni is an Italian brand. So I went on Artlist to find a score that supports that Mediterranean vibe with sound effects to match my edit. If you still haven't checked out Artlist, you can click the link down in the description box. And that is it for this video. I absolutely love the challenge of shooting with only one light. To be honest, sometimes I got a little bit frustrated that I didn't have any extra light source, but loved how it forced me to be creative around the problems I had. So if you are a single light user yourself, I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you back on the next one. Birra Superiore, Peroni Nastro Azzurro, Italy.